What's good, y'all? Bricks from Bricks Fitness. And I'm on my way to the barbershop, right? I got this thing. I'm going to let y'all in a little deeper than I normally do. Right? I got this thing about allowing chemicals or supplements or caffeine or whatever to alter my emotional state. There's something about the fact that some chemical or something that I put into my body changed how I felt emotionally. It's weird, anyway. So I got this thing now, I'm on this kick because fitness is 1,000% mental. One million percent mental. All of it is mental. So the, the more control you have over your, your thoughts and your emotions, the more control you have over your body. That savage culture. I don't Ooh, like that. What we talking about here? I don't like women. There's no way is that shit cool for a woman to be a whore. Savage life. I just want, I, and we talking about this because I just watched the Marilyn Monroe documentary. Uh -huh. And I said I'm gonna get some shirts made that, with Marilyn on it that just say savage. Shorty was one of the originators of that shit. Uh -huh. Publicly. Uh -huh. She was a whore. So my point is, now we got this savage shit with the rise of women's independence. This is a this is a this is a boom. We've never mm -hmm. I, I, we you've never seen anything like this in the history of the world. Okay. Where women actually got education, money, they in shape. They you know what I'm saying they independent they got their shit together significantly more than black men. We just talking about black women right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. True. Right? And I have a problem with that. I said and probably before I had a daughter I wouldn't have cared. I have a question for you. Where the niggas at then? Where the niggas at then? Where they at? They locked up. Where they at? They locked up. Where are they at? They locked up. Where are they at? They're locked up. Where Tell you where they at. I can't answer stand that. I can't stand that. Look, look, they're locked up. Oh, women saying, don't need to be doing this. I'm not saying that. You're saying that. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Because you're saying by saying that you should celebrate the culture. No, what I'm saying is. You don't agree with women doing that. I don't agree with that shit. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. I don't agree with women being whores. Why are you acting like that's okay? This is exactly why I'm going to set up a weekly topic discussion at the barbershop. I'm going to probably make this a segment every week because there's some interesting conversations that happens in, that happens in this barbershop. So I think I'm going to do that. Man, you're exciting me up. Damn, bro, you had this shirt on the last time. Every time. <laughs> Alright, now I'm about to hit the gym. I mean, Kimmy at the gym. We're going to do biceps, triceps. Appreciate you, bro. Stay tuned. Every week we're gonna do a weekly segment where we just talk in life. Like I'm gonna act like I got muscles. <laughs> Y'all yeah, listen to me. I'm making some real power plays in my life right now. Right. My passion is fitness. So and and that's what that's what I've achieved supreme success in weight loss right so that's why I give you advice on fat loss and weight loss and fitness lifestyle but I'm in a position I'm putting myself in a position to make some serious money in business and in entrepreneurship and I can't give you advice on that yet because I haven't I haven't quote unquote made it yet so it'll be wrong for me to try to give you directions on something that I haven't quite been supremely successful at but let me tell you this that day is coming but the big part of this I want you guys to see this journey that I'm on like it's not just fitness it's so much bigger than fitness this is about wellness this is about happiness this is about creating wealth for you and your family for generations to come like that's what it's about that's what I'm about so stay tuned I want y'all to watch this happen y'all gonna see me you know I'm driving this this Honda I want y'all to y'all see my house. It's not the fanciest thing in the world, but stay tuned because y'all are gonna watch my crib turn into a mansion. Y'all gonna see me go from this Honda to a Lambo, starting businesses and creating a legacy to leave to my family.
trying to work on my peak. So I'm trying to hit the top of my bicep, right? So here's an exercise that's gonna isolate the top of the bicep. You wanna be over like in a bent over row position. All right? Come up, keep the bar close to your legs. So you wanna bring your elbows up, curl. It's a really short range of motion. In that top head, huh? In the top head. Ah. So we're in here watching uh, Steve, Steve Cook and Christian Guzman's workout at the Gold's Gym Mecca, uh, which is in Venice Beach. And it just instantly brought me back to the time when I, I was living in California, I was living in LA, and I had applied, well, I was working out at, at Ghost Gym in Hollywood, I, I lived in Hollywood at the time. And the manager there, he was super cool, you know, I, I, you know, I was networking with him, I asked him, you know, for a job. He's like, do you have your certification yet? I'm like, nah, I don't have my certification yet. So he's like, alright, cool, I got a position, I'll hold it for you for two weeks. Mind you, I had been studying for my certification for six months at this point. And I was about halfway through the book. He was like, I'll give you six weeks. I mean, I'll give you two weeks to get your certification. So instantly the pressure was on me. So I did what I had to do, man. I crammed the second half of the book for, you know, a week and a half. And then I went out on a limb and I just took the test and I passed. And then like, that was one of the peaks of my life. Like I was so excited. I was, you know, feeling really confident. So I got hired at Gold's Gym. And I ended up not being able to keep the position because my background check came back with some stuff that happens in my past. Anyway, long story short, um, it crushed me. And this was one of the most depressing squeezes of my life, man. I was behind, you know, on, on the money to pay, you know, my, my kid's mom. You know, rent was due. I didn't have a job. My... I didn't have a car. My girlfriend was stressing me out. It wasn't her. My girlfriend was stressing me out. Um, I didn't know what I was gonna do. I was so intimidated by even the process of applying for a job at that point. And um, that's when Jessica, I had applied for the, a position at the YMCA in, in Koreatown. And Jessica Farron, she, I think that's how you pronounce her last name. Jessica, she went out on a limb and she hired me um, at the YMCA. And I, I, I think even to this day, last week I spoke to her on Instagram and I tell her how much I am indebted to her. Like she gave me a chance. She took, she went out on a limb and she gave me a chance. She gave me my first personal training job. And I am forever appreciative for that opportunity because it changed my life. That period alone, like just all the stress all the heartbreak, all the adversity, um, it, it, it really, it made me grow so much. And everything happened exactly how it was supposed to. Like the manager at Gold's Gym Hollywood, he put the pressure on me. I probably would have took another seven months, eight months before I took the test because I was intimidated. I didn't, I didn't know, you know what to expect. I was trying to over prepare, like it was just a lot. But it's just funny, just know that Everything happens exactly how it's supposed to. I know it sounds cliche, but all your adversities, all your stresses, every time you're in a pinch, it's there for a reason. It's designed to teach you something that you're gonna need along along the way of your journey, wherever that journey may be leading for you. Um, so embrace your struggle because it's there to, to make you grow, to make you stronger, to teach you something that you need to know. Seriously. Man, those. And you wouldn't even know at that time all that was for that. No, I didn't for know. This now, you you just didn't. This Hindsight time. is twenty twenty, but exactly. it it's so. I just feel so appreciative of, of all that stress. But in that time, you're like, fuck, this yeah, is like, like worse. Really? Yeah. I feel like my life was about to end. <laughs> and then you know, boom. so much pressure, man. My kids, I had to take care of my kids. I had rent. My ex, my, uh, it was just a lot. And everything happens for a reason. And now I'm so blessed to be in a position that I'm in. 
and it just feels good. I, like, I don't take this for granted at all. All right, I'm gonna stop talking your head off. <laughs> I think I'm gonna end the video here. I have four videos that I need to shoot today. And what else we gotta do? We gotta go, grocery, go shopping. grocery shopping. We always need eggs. Always need That's eggs. True always need chicken. All right, so look. Yeah, I'm about to do these. It's some you guys requested some really interesting videos, so mm -hmm. I'm about to shoot those today. So I'll have some good co content for you guys next week. And as always, I appreciate you guys so much. Shout out to the Brick Squad, the whole Brick Squad. I need a captain. Oh, I thought you. What? No, not yet. Nah, I mean, of the subscribers, a, a captain of the Brick Squad. Anyway, shout out to the Brick Squad. I'm just here trying to share the wellness with y'all. So get well and get, and get money. money. <laughs>